Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And just a reminder that it is not too late to enter the first of five giveaways to receive a free copy of this game. I have five keys ready to give away. We're going to give each one of those away when we hit a subscriber milestone. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, leave a comment if you would, if you feel so inclined. And when we hit 18,000 subscribers, I will announce the winner of the first giveaway. We'll reset it. We'll invite everybody to re-enter for the next one, and we'll do that five times. So today, we're going to dive into uh, the 1890s. I'm going to revisit the USS Maine. I'm going to call this video the Revenge of the Maine, although uh, I think, honestly, uh, if we are being uh, practical and being real about the whole thing, uh, the USS Maine was not sunk by the Spanish. It was not sunk by a Spanish mine. It was probably sunk uh, by something that happened from within. That said, it gave the U.S. A, an argument and a reason, a causus belli, if you will, to go to war with Spain. We won't get into all of that right now, but we are going to rebuild the main as best we can uh, within the, the confines of the game. So uh, you'll notice the weird layout of the turrets. Oh, it's just such a terrible thing. But this is, I mean, these aren't the turrets. They were much shorter barrels on the main, but this is how the main's turrets were. It had one, it had side turrets, one in the front, one in the rear, kind of laid out like this. So that's what we're going to go with. Now, it also had six single six-inch guns. Now, I can't put those where they were. The main had a very unique kind of hull, one that I can't really reproduce uh, with the technology that I'm using here. So uh, the hull had these uh, kind of casemate guns that were up above, uh, and there were two up front, two in the middle, and two in the rear on each side. So uh, I've just kind of placed these the way that I could. And we'll go with it. I'm not going for exact replica of the main. I'm just mainly trying to replicate its production. So these are five inch guns because it won't let me do sixes. Um, and with that said, we've got the 12 inches of belt armor that main had, three inches of deck armor, 10 inches on the conning tower, uh, eight inches on the turrets, and everything else. I just kind of went with whatever I could. Um, I have to have bulkheads at minimum. I just don't have the weight available. I am a little bit higher than main's weight, which was around 6,700 tons but I just couldn't fit everything on there if I did that. So uh, this is not meant to be an exact replica of the main. It's just an approximation uh, to give us something to do here. And I've also added some light cruisers on each side. So main, uh, I, I think most folks remember it as a battleship. It, it might have been kind of a battleship. It really was, was a heavy cruiser. Um, so that's what we've gone with. Heavy cruiser, three light cruisers on each side. U.S. versus the Spanish, and we are going to be... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it looks like our our main ship starts at 5,000 meters, but the light cruisers are right in the action, right up front. So here we go. Let's get our smoke going on these guys. We've got the Vicksburg, the Huntington, and the Oakland. No, let's... I want to switch individual targets here if we... Oh, boy. How do we do that? I'm trying to remember. Single ship is just uh, control and plus. All right. Man, Oakland. Well, it's not going to matter much because Oakland's going to be gone in a second. All right. I guess we're not. You know what? Let's not worry about that. Good night. So let's get Maine over there. Try to help out as best we can. Oakland's not going to survive this. But we don't have any torpedoes on our light cruisers. And I don't have any on my battleship either. Let's see what he's got. He's just got 6 inch guns and 3 inch guns. I've got 7s on mine. We haven't identified it's it's guessing it's a destroyer but it's definitely not that's his battleship back here of course his turrets are centered which is perfect not so with mine although you can see now i don't know if main could do that or not i don't know enough about the main to to know but you know what we're not going to complain about it i'm staying in real time in this one Not 
sure where Huntington's going. I think they're just trying to get around the Oakland, who seems to be pretty much dead in the water. They don't appear to have any ability to move whatsoever. Oh, man. All right, man, let's get over there. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down. Main only had 16 and a half knots of speed, which I think by this point is probably kind of slow compared to what some of these other ships are probably able to do. He's coming right at me with his light cruiser. I'm gonna try to see if we can put something in on him with these 10 inch guns. Of course, AIM's pretty much non-existent in the 1890s. I wonder what the range is on my 5-inch guns. They must be able to fire. Seven point six kilometers. Let's go ahead and just get a get a look at this thing fire. Of course, the main wasn't painted like this either. Uh, it was like brown and white mainly. Different time. Different time. He is just pummeling my light cruisers. Oh, the Vicksburg's almost toast now, too. See, it started them up so close. I really wasn't expecting that. There goes the Vicksburg. Vicksburg actually sank before Hood, uh, Oakland did. I've got Hood on the brain. So I've lost one cruiser and almost a second one and really done very little da damage to him so far. I think we can go up to two times speed. All right, Maine, you're going to probably have to do this yourself. I'm going to put these guys on AI. Just let them deal with it the best they can. So much smoke out there, it's hard to see anything. Ho! Oh, ammo detonation. That's helpful. That was a five inch. That was one of my secondaries that caused the ammo detonation on the Bianca. And the Blanca. Got him with my five inch. That's nice. Now can we finish him? Thing is hurting big time. Look at all that fire. Not enough to sink it, though. If we can finish one of his light cruisers off, I'm going to feel... Oh, there's another ammo detonation. That time from a two-inch shell. Oh, and a third one. Nice. I love the ammo detonation because you see... Especially with all the smoke, they've done a great job with the lighting effects. You see the, the explosion reflected on the smoke in the sky. That's beautiful to watch. Here's another ammo detonation. That was from my 7-inch on the light cruiser. So my big guns aren't getting the big, the big hits so far. All right, the tide is a turn in here, folks. Although it's been my light cruisers getting it done, not not the main. So can we really say it's Revenge of the Main? I don't know, but we're about to take out the Lepanto. There we go. So now we've actually got the numbers, at least until Oakland gets taken out. There was a nice hit by my 10-inch guns. far out are we? There goes Oakland. Alright, we're about two kilometers out. Oh, beautiful hit. Once we take out Pizarro, then we can go in for the kill on uh, Canarius. How are we doing on shells? All right, we're good. We got 444 left on the 10-inch. 
Nice. Let's go watch the enemy for a little bit here. Just in case we get another big explosion, I want to see it. Oh, now his his battleship's opening up. Well, his heavy cruiser, I should say, is opening up on my light cruiser. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Huntington's in bad shape. We're about to lose Huntington. Then it's going to be all about the main. Come on, main. We got to finish off Pizarro. There goes Huntington. So it's one on two now. Had some ebbs and flows to this battle. It, it looked bad early on when he started nailing me, and then it started looking good for me. And now it's back to looking bad for me. Okay. So I'm actually going to start firing on his heavy cruiser with my main guns. And we'll keep firing with the secondaries on the light cruiser. Try to do double duty here. And just hope we don't get a ammo detonation of our own. Because we've seen these five inch guns can get the job done against the light cruisers. I mean, they've only got what? 2.3 inches of armor. And at this range, two kilometers. Yeah, the five inch can get it done. Let's take a look at the shots coming in on this guy. What's he got? He's got nine inches of armor, so it's a little thinner than mine. He's also got 10 inch guns. Mm. Three kilometers out from him. We're getting little hits on Pizarro, but nothing nothing major really. How long does it take? Uh, it takes almost a minute to reload those 10 inch guns. There's a nice hit. There's an ammo detonation on Pizarro. Although it didn't do as much as I would have liked. Uh, we're super close to him now. Nice. We've actually, we just landed a 10 inch mid belt penetration, 111 damage that caused some serious flooding on the front of the Canarius. Not enough to sink him, but if we could hit it, if we could penetrate one more compartment before his pumps get a hold of that, we might have him. I don't know if he's going to be able to get a hold of that flooding or not. I guess we'll find out. This thing looks like a monitor at this point, as low as he is in the water. Good news is, with that kind of damage, he's probably not going to be real accurate. Uh, he's he's starting to pump the water out. You can see one compartment starting to get emptied. We need to we need to poke another hole in this thing. There's a hit. Yeah, but I hit a part that was already flooded. All right, you know what? How are you doing, Pizarro? Yeah, you know what? I was going to switch the, the main guns to try and finish off Bizarro because we're so close, under a kilometer. But I think my I think my secondaries are going to do that. So I'm not going to pull the mains off of the primary target. Main's holding up pretty good. 
and 12 inch armor helps. Go back and watch Canarius again as these 10 inch shells come in. No, nothing. Almost got Pizarro though. I think they're, they're going to go first. Uh, over pin 75 damage hit on Canarius but again he's uh, he's dealing with that flooding I, I had him close if I could have gotten one more compartment I would have had him so we're almost starting from scratch now you know what I am gonna go ahead and switch the mains over to Pizarro I think one good shot from my main guns will take him out Ooh, that was a big hit. His 10 inch hit me pretty good there. I want to watch the 10s come in. There it is. Nice. That's going to do it. I think we got him. Oh, yeah, he's flooded all the way across the bottom. That was a beautiful hit. Now it's just the, the heavy cruisers. It's a duel. This should be fun. We're, we're pretty even. He's actually in a little better shape than I am at this point. Because I'm structurally down to 75. We both have 10 inch guns. I've got slightly better armor than him. So he's going 8.1 knots. He's got minimum bulkheads. There's flooding again. One, two, three, four, five compartments. So that's what I had before. Still, I don't think is enough. I think we need six compartments. Now we only got four, actually. Ah, there we go. That was a nice hit by the tens. Right now, we just mainly got to hope he doesn't land a uh, ammo detonation. Otherwise, I think we're good. Nice. Speaking of, there was the kill shot. That was cool. That was a fun battle. I enjoyed that one. So uh, throw out your ideas, what you want to see. Use that comment section below. Maybe we'll try to recreate some more historical ships. Done that in the past. And it's been a lot of fun. So um, try to get a little more creative with that if I can. Drop a like. Make sure you enter that giveaway. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.